So now I'm addressing the blackface. That's what that is. So now he's addressed it, I've addressed it, now what? Did Pusha T rap better than Drake? Yes. Will Pusha T win this battle? In my eyes, I think it's over with Drake lost. Whenever a nigga make you goddamn start writing shit on your Instagram and explaining what a nigga was talking about in the song, it's over with. Pusha T won. But as far as taking this shit outside of rap, like affecting this and that about a fucking child that we don't even know about and a fucking picture of him in blackface when niggas is running around in blackface every fucking day. Seiko and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Before we get started, let me tell y'all what the fuck happened. My nigga Morgan Todd, shout out to Morgan Todd. That nigga, you know what I'm saying, is gonna be the first nigga I sent out a big homes t shirt to. My nigga's in Los Angeles doing this thing. He shouted me out, whatever, like that, and hollered at me. I said, I got, I have to scream at you, my nigga, because he's doing his thing up there. So, Morgan, keep doing your thing, stay strong, and handle your situation, be home. I believe in you. Um, if you want a Big Homes t-shirt, you make sure you go to the Facebook Messenger and scream at me and we'll get you one out. You know what I'm saying? We'll discuss the prices. Yada, yada, yada. Probably like $20 or some shit like that. Um, also, all my local rappers, whatever, y'all make sure y'all hit up the Facebook Messenger also or the Instagram Messenger. It really doesn't matter now. Um, let me know what you want to do, whatever like that. Uh, if you don't have a budget of $100 and you're ready to move right now, do not contact me. I don't have time to listen to your shit. Or nothing like that. If you're not ready to work on your music career and get your shit out there, go talk to your girlfriend and shit like that. I don't need to talk to you about that shit. I don't have time to do that. If you want to work, we can start some shit like that. Other than that, talk to your family and shit, whatever like that. Uh, all my niggas who are donating to the PayPal, fuck with you niggas. I could not do this show without y'all, and I really do appreciate it. Believe it, I'm just a run of the mill nigga from Alabama. And to get the support that I get, it's fucking crazy. Um, let's get on this whole Drake. Drake. Drake had on blackface, and I didn't notice. And if Morgan wouldn't have hit me with that real deep, powerful message that he sent me, I was gonna go real crazy on niggas who were in that comment section of that Drake video because. First of all, I didn't know that that was Drake in that fucking blackface. I didn't. I thought that was a fucking picture, though. I didn't even know what the fuck the name was. The story of Adidon. I didn't know what the fuck that is. Like, is that a fucking character? I thought he was saying, look, Drake is in blackface. He's he's a fucking culture vulture. Ain't that the shit that everybody wrong with? I didn't think that was fucking him. Of course, if I would have known that was him in the fucking blackface, I would have came out differently. But since I didn't, and now everything's already happened, I have to defend that point. And... What I'm looking at here is, if we're mad, and hold on, that video was strictly about niggas calling Drake a deadbeat because he did not put his child in his music. As if a nigga's music life should not be, there shouldn't be any difference in between the two. Like maybe a nigga want to keep his home life at home. Wouldn't that be the smart thing to do when you got to fight off people here, fight off people there? You don't understand how it is to be in the public eye. Maybe you don't want that curse to be put upon your children. That's what I'm saying. And on top of that, I was telling you, we don't even know if that child is fucking his. Why, how in the fuck are you niggas going on this whole side that obviously got pregnant because she wanted some fucking money? How do we know that? Because the bitch ain't with him. He was just fucking a bitch, and she know that he was just fucking up. And on top of that, what kind of bitch chooses the, the hottest nigga in the world to have a fucking child with to say that he's a good father? So I can't be on her side. So that shit just run. I, I was fucked that shit. I'm going down right now. And I ain't, I ain't think about shit else. But then I found out that that was actually him in a blackface because folks in the comment section was fucking killing me. And I was gonna kill him back too. I, I'm not with that bullshit. A lot of these niggas were talking disrespectful in the comment section. And I'm not with that shit. And I don't give a fuck about like the trolls who came just for one time and shit like that. My real issue was with the people in the notification game, the people who were like, I'm disappointed, big homes, you're you're one-sided, you're biased, you're a stand and shit like that. I was fucking with you up until this point. I unsubscribed and I was telling you motherfuckers, listen. I don't give a fuck what them faggots say, them hating ass niggas, but if you know the lingo, AO Nation and Big Homes and shit like that, hey dog, 
you need to be real. You mean like be a lot more respectful when you talking about when you extra like when you critiquing me, like nigga, be a lot more respectful because I don't really appreciate that duck ass shit. And I don't know, like I'm not threatening you, but I'm just saying, like, if that's the way that you all if you talk to a nigga that you fuck with, because I think that I fuck with everybody in AO Nation. All my subscribers, I think that I fuck with them. If you got a notification on your phone every time I do a video, I feel like I fuck with you. And if you're fucking with me like I'm fucking with you, I don't talk to you in that way. You know what I'm saying? You niggas, uh, this fuck nigga and all that shit like that, what the fuck? Uh, all this, like, hey, dog, you can be a lot more respectful. If you really rocking with AO Nation, you can be a lot more respectful. Like, hey, man, you need to speak on the black face, do another video about this right here, and it's all good. And shout out to everybody who did that. You know what I'm saying? But for all you motherfucking times I unsubscribe and ah the fuck, like, like dog, please just leave. What the fuck? <laughs> just leave. Just just go ahead and go where you gotta get to, whatever like that. But let's get down to the point. So Drake was in blackface. And because I have to now defend this point, and Drake's came out and told you that he was doing that to point out how black actors have to portray themselves to get into Hollywood. And what I say is, even if that's a fucking lie, it's a damn good one. Because what you niggas is pretty much saying is, as long as you're not famous, as long as you don't have it, because I don't like that whole winner bashing shit. Like folks who hate LeBron and folks who hated Kobe just because they were good. Nah, Drake is a fuck nigga. Like, niggas is so tired of him winning. Like, niggas was tired of Drake winning back when he was beefing with Meek Mill because niggas just knew he was going to die then. I'm not with that nigga bashing shit. Like, I'm just not with that shit. I'm not with it. I'm not, I'm just going, I just don't like the winner because he winning. I'm not with, it's not, don't got shit to do about a stand. But I've always been that nigga that niggas hated for no fucking reason. No reason behind it, but nigga, this, this is my city. Like, the whole fucking county, niggas been hating me, you know what I'm saying, just because I've been the biggest nigga, you know what I'm saying, all oh, that nigga, oh, the fuck. Like, nigga just hate you because you successful, just because you look like you successful. Because you the top niggas, niggas hate you, and I understand that. So I'm not finna go at a nigga Nate just because he on top. He wore blackface. We're gonna break down every one of the issues that we've had with him. The baby shit, bullshit, bullshit. If he do got a child and he don't put the child in the music, he's paid for that child because that bitch ain't said a goddamn thing. If that nigga ain't paid for something, she would have been one to the goddamn, it's already, it's all good. For him to keep it under wraps just so shows that he's he knows how to keep his private life private. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're not entitled to know everything that happens with him. That's the same way that uh, a college Jenner or whatever one of them little bitches had that fucking baby as a secret, whatever like that. No one knew she was pregnant and shit like that. That's kind of how you want to keep it so you don't have all these fucking people everywhere at all times. You don't want to put that curse on your fucking child. Let's go to the next thing. The blackface shit. Okay, this how you want us to act? A lot of you niggas have to act like you in blackface at your fucking job. And what you niggas is saying is, as long as you don't got this much money, and as long as goddamn you ain't famous... Then you can be a fucking coon. As long as you don't got on the paint, you can be a fucking blackface menstrual show. At your job, your boss tell you to do all kind of cut a nigga jig. Sing that nigga song. Hey, go get that nigga. Hey, don't you like watermelon and chicken? Make all kind of fucking jokes and you laugh alone because you got to keep your job. If this nigga gets $8 million to put on fucking blackface, do you blame him? Did How many motherfuckers did we see in the audition room jumping on fucking tape, dancing on goddamn tables? Is that not blackface? What you're saying is, long as a light-skinned nigga don't do it, it's all good. Long as a nigga on top of the game don't do it, it's all fucking good. I'm not with that selective hearing shit. Because I don't need a nigga to put on blackface for me to say he's fucking cooning or fucking, like, pandering to the goddamn white man. I dance for you, sir. I sure wish I could dance better so I could dance for you, sir. I'm not with that shit. I'm not with that hating ass shit. I'm going to break down every part of it. If you want me to get on this motherfucker and say, yeah, fuck Drake, man, hell yeah. I can't do it. I have to keep it all the way. Like, I have to go all the way on each one of them. I got to talk to you. So what I saw was him in blackface, extremely, that was really abrasive to see that. It was crazy to see it. Okay, so... That I, I, I really couldn't defend it because it's like, oh my God, like, what the fuck? He comes out and says, okay, we were trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? We were trying to show, like, it's a lot of things. And this is another thing. What I thought about it is, 
you niggas wasn't even fucking with Drake. Like, to be honest, not even Wayne was fucking with Drake. The nigga who found him was a nigga from Houston who saw potential in him. But before that, the nigga was doing white folk shows. White folk shows. Like Post Malone, Iggy Azalea, Lil Xan, Lil Pump, Lil Skies, 6 9 Trippy Red, each one of these motherfuckers was doing whatever the fuck it took to get the fuck on. And time and time again, hip hop is the only place that they can make it because every other genre requires you to have talent. Except with this situation, he was talented. So the shit that he did before stardom, I think that we all would be just a little bit embarrassed of some of the ideas and things that we've done trying to get paid in the past. I don't give a fuck if this sounds like, oh, you're just trying to, uh, you're trying to explain for him. My nigga, I've been listening to Drake since goddamn So Far Gone, and that shit was fucking amazing. I think that's the best mixtape of all time, right up there with fucking Dedication 2. I love Drake music. Not lately. I think, uh, what was it? The last, I don't, I haven't heard any of his music since he started doing that streaming shit, because I don't do that streaming shit. But all his shit has been, you know what I'm saying, word that we've been on that shit, whatever like that. I fuck with Drake the hard way. And until somebody brings something forward and say he did some shit that was just ethically wrong that no one else has done, you're not going to execute him on my watch. I'm not going to execute him. So let me double down on what I said the first time. Drake was in blackface that's fucked up on a cosmetic level that looks extremely fucked up. So if you want to unsubscribe because, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to allow you motherfuckers to sway my opinion, do that. If you're a real person and can see that, a person is not going to switch up because I've been through that. Motherfucker like, oh, well, he's been, uh, he, he's been called a deadbeat. My nigga, every nigga that has a child has been called a deadbeat. Every nigga that has a child that's not with that fucking baby mama has been called a fucking deadbeat. So I don't give a fuck about that duck ass shit, my nigga. What I'm saying is, when you get up to a certain fucking plateau, you're gonna notice that people are gonna bring up everything but the fucking kitchen sink to bring you down. Me, myself, I don't like that. I don't like it. Especially when I'm doing good shit. Especially when I'm doing what I think is the best. Especially when I'm not promoting niggas to die. When you got real dark skin niggas just promoting death every fucking song. Promoting niggas to go to prison every song. What uh, I think Star calls prison culture. Drake's never said he was a street nigga. These niggas pretty much have walked you into the county. These niggas pretty much booked you in. Oh my God. But because they didn't have on blackface, they're not coons. Cooning is perpetuating the black stereotype. Is Drake the black stereotype? Does he promote the black stereotype? He told you he was trying to fight for black rights in the acting community. Some shit y'all don't give a fuck about. The internet is perception based. Meaning what the majority of people think is what becomes truth. And that is not real life. The truth is the truth. If he gives you an answer about what it was and you can't prove otherwise, and believe me, as much as I like to speculate, I'm going to speculate here and say he's telling the fucking truth. And if you're going to point him out and fucking damn him to hell, every nigga who danced on a fucking table, every nigga who then came in this bitch and made nigga look like retarded, mumble rap fucking faggots, Every nigga who done came through, Drake don't even wear fucking jewelry. Every nigga who done came through and spent more on they fucking pinky ring that they ain't spent for their fucking family back home. Go bash them niggas. Not the nigga who you just catch a picture of in the, in the, wrong, in the wrong light. And now, oh, this is what he did. Because you don't like him already. Whenever a nigga jump on some shit that quick, like, oh, I seen it. That's what it is. Because he wanted to do that anyway. They want it to be true. I don't want to hear your reason. Because I want this. I want to be mad at you. I want you to lose. I'm not on that shit, big home. 
I'm not on that shit, big homie. We didn't see Drake on camera. I don't give a fuck if it was a publicity stunt or what. A lot of you niggas do it. A lot of you niggas give to homeless people only on camera. A lot of you niggas only give people cars and buy folks uh, food and, and uh, a house note and light bill only on camera. So you can't say that he's the only one that did that. So I see him doing for people. How else has Drake down the black community? Now, I've, I've been said he's he lame. You see him in the grassy, you know he's lame. But he's never pretended like he was one of these niggas. He's attached himself to everything that was hot in hip-hop, which is what a smart businessman would do. You can't be mad at a nigga because he's successful and he's smart. Because he did it before you could, you can't be mad at him. I'm not with that faggot shit, dog. So now I'm addressing the blackface. That's what that is. So now he's addressed it, I've addressed it, now what? Did Pusha T rap better than Drake? Yes. Will Pusha T win this battle? In my eyes, I think it's over with Drake lost. Whenever a nigga make you goddamn start writing shit on your Instagram and explaining what a nigga was talking about in the song, it's over with. Pusha T won. But as far as taking this shit outside of rap, like... Affecting this and that about a fucking child that we don't even know about and a fucking picture of him in blackface when niggas is running around in blackface every fucking day. Just without the paint. I don't do that. You can't take a picture from 20 years ago and then like act like you don't see the nigga that's right here in your face right now. I'm not even speaking about, I'm not, I'm not going to bring down Pusha T because it's not about that. What I'm defending right now is what the fuck I see it. And what I think about this blackface shit. So you take it how you want it. Big Fast Podcast, A.O. can say y'all. Make sure y'all go to that PayPal, show love, and I'll see y'all in a minute. And if you don't goddamn donate, please understand how fucking insignificant your fucking opinion is. All my niggas who donated, please believe I saw y'all comment and I definitely took that shit into consideration. Love, love.